Leviticus chapter 15, Holman Christian Standard Bible. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, Speak to the Israelites and tell them, When any man has a discharge from his body, he is unclean. This is an uncleanness of the, his discharge. Whether his body secretes the discharge or retains it, he is unclean. All that day his body secretes or returns anything because of his discharge, he is unclean. Any bed the man with the discharge lies on will be unclean, and any furniture he sits on will be unclean. Anyone who touches his bed to wash his clothes and bathe with water, he will remain unclean until evening. Whoever sits on furniture that the man with the discharge was sitting on is to wash his clothes and bathe with water, and he will remain unclean until evening. Whoever touches the body of the man with the discharge is to wash his clothes and bathe with water, and he will remain unclean until evening. If the man with the discharge spits on anyone who is unclean, he is to wash his clothes and bathe with water, and he will remain unclean until evening. Any saddle the man will, with the discharge rides on will be unclean. Whoever touches anything that is under him will be unclean until evening, and whoever carries such things is to wash his clothes and bathe with water, and he will remain unclean until evening. If the man with the discharge touches anything without the first rinsing his hands in water, the person who is touched is to wash his clothes and bathe with water, and he will remain unclean until evening. Any clay pot that the man with the discharge touches must be broken, while any wooden utensil must be rinsed with water. When the man with the discharge has been cured of it, he is to count seven days for his cleansing, wash his clothes, and bathe his body in fresh water. He will be clean. He must take two turtle doves or two young pigeons on the eighth day, come before the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and give them to the priest. The priest is to sacrifice them, one as a sin offering, and the other as a burnt offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for him, because the Lord before the Lord because of his discharge. When a man has an emission of semen, he is to bathe himself completely with water, and he will remain unclean until evening. Any clothing or leather on which there is an emission of semen must be washed with water, and he will remain and it will remain unclean until evening. If a man sleeps with a woman and has an emission of semen, both of them are to bathe in the water, and they will remain unclean until evening. When a woman has a discharge and it consists of blood from her body, she will be unclean because of her menstruation for seven days. Everyone who touches her will be unclean until evening. Anything she lies on during her menstruation will become unclean, and anything she sits on will be unclean. Everyone who touches her bed is to wash his clothes and bathe with water, and he will remain unclean until evening. Evening. Everyone who touches any furniture she is sitting on is to wash his clothes and bathe with water, and he will remain unclean until evening. If discharge is on the bed or the furniture she was sitting on, when he touches it, he will become unclean until evening. If a man sleeps with her and, her, and the blood from her menstruation gets on him, it will be unclean. he will be unclean for seven days, and every bed he lies on will become unclean. When a woman has a discharge of her blood for many days, and though it is not the time of her menstruation, or if she has a discharge beyond her period, she will be unclean all the days of her unclean discharge, as she is during the days of her menstruation. And any bed she lies on during her days of her discharge will be like her bed during the menstrual impurity. Any furniture she sits on will be unclean, as in her menstrual period. Everyone who touches them will be unclean. He must wash his clothes and bathe with water. And he will remain unclean until evening. When she is cured of her discharge, she is to count seven days, and after that day she will be clean. On the eighth day, she must make two turtle doves or two young pigeons and bring them to the priest. At the entrance of the tent of meeting, the priest is to sacrifice one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for her because of the Lord, before the Lord because of her discharge. If you, you must keep the Israelites from their uncleanness so that they do not die by defiling my tabernacle that is among them. This is a law for someone with a discharge, a man who has a mission of semen, becoming unclean by it, a woman who is in her menstrual period, anyone who has a discharge, whether male or female, and a man who sleeps with an unclean wound.